For the eighth time, the National Campaign for Legal, Safe, and Free Abortions presented before Congress its proposed law on the voluntary interruption of pregnancy. Abortion is our right and our decision to be able to decide over our bodies. Women die and nobody is doing anything. I think someone has to speak out and help us defend what we are thinking and not let us die. It is a way of demonstrating that we're still here, that we did not go anywhere, that we are still standing and will continue to come here as many times as necessary. The new text includes some changes with respect to the bill that got halfway through Congress last year. Doctors will no longer be able to refuse to carry out abortions on grounds of conscience, and those who hinder or deny the legal interruption of pregnancy could face prison sentences. Healthcare is a public service, like education and other services, so it cannot be optional to provide this service. It is the state's obligation to provide these services, otherwise it would be like a teacher suddenly refusing to teach part of the curriculum. If someone is already determined to do it, she will do it, and if it's legal, it's much better because it's safe. The green tie flooded the streets again. Above all, the government needs to see the strength we women have, that we can win our rights like this by taking the streets and fighting. So that people can express their opinions, demonstrate and say what they want, what they feel. It's also time to be free. It will be difficult to pass a bill like this in an election year, but the aim of the organizers is to get the bill approved in the lower house now, and once the composition of the Senate changes, have it passed into law.